Our peace search defied borderlines crossing into northeastern Uganda with the aim of meeting face to face with the warring communities. And right from the onset, there were all indicators that this would not be a very easy undertaking. The security contingent escorting us suggested that indeed we were treading on a very dangerous path. <laughs> The roads here seem to have collaborated with the insecure situation. From time to time, the impassable roads proved the greatest impediment to our quest for peace. The distance that would have otherwise taken five hours was tripled by the torturous terrain, and as a result, we could not do it in less than 15 hours. When darkness fell, our fears could only double. Nothing felt safe. We only pegged our hopes of ever returning back home on the equally scared Ugandan forces. <laughs> the confidence of our chief peace ambassador was a consolation as the warriors now united in fear of attacks in the wilderness chucked the bus from the numerous ditches along the road. However challenging this trip proved to be, the team was able to appreciate the fact that peace is such a key factor in improving livelihoods and the absence of it is the presence of underdevelopment. The team seemed not to have been discouraged. In fact, it only renewed their quest of a peaceful East Africa. Join me again tomorrow as I introduce you to two versatile warlords now turned to peacemakers as they meet face to face. Kendago, Obadia for the news at nine.